Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this tutorial. My name is Mari Carmen and I will show you how to download and pre-process Sentinel-2 images using the semi-classification plugin in QGIS 3.0. Okay, so before we start with QGIS, we need to go to the Sci-Hub website. We go to this website, which is sci-hub.copernicus.eu and we click on Open Hub. After clicking on Open Hub, we are going to get we are going to get uh, a map and the the website where we can find um, where we can find the satellite images or other data. But we are not going to download it from here. We just need to sign up or just to have a an account. Okay, so if we click on sign up, we're going to get this this window and in this window we have to complete all this information and then register. After registering, you are going to have a, um, a password and a username. So, when you have your password and your username, you're ready to go to QGIS 3.0. So we open QGIS 3.0. If you have this folder, you need to double click on QGIS Desktop 3.0.0. And then you wait for a little bit and you get QGIS. So we need to install the plugin. To install the plugin, we go to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins. And here we're going to search for semi-automatic classification plugin. When you have this plugin, you're going to find this button. In this button you will have install plugin. You click on install plugin and then you'll have your plugin installed. After having your plugin installed, you're going to have this, this menu, which is SCP. When you have your SCP menu, you go to Show Plugin. Click on Show Plugin, and this is the new window of the plugin. Then, here we can do a lot of things. We have lots of tools, but for this tutorial, we're going to use the download product. We go to Login Data, and here we have the option Login Sentinels. Here the service is this one and you you have your username and your password. You can say remember and and this plugin will remember your information. Okay, so now you have your your user and your password. I'm going to to upload um, my study area. which is this one. This is a vector. Add. Okay, so here I have my study area. I want a satellite image from this area. So we're going to look for that satellite image. Here you have the option search. Here you have Sentinel-2 product, and here you have the search parameters. We can create a rectangle around the study area, and um, and then the coordinates are going to appear here. So to create the rectangle, we click on this plus button, set area in the map, and then click on on one corner just normal click and then right click on the opposite corner and the rectangle will appear. So does the coordinate. Okay, and now we can choose the, the date. In this case, I want the day from 2018. January 2018 
to the date to this date and then we can we can move the the maximum cloud cover and the product and then we can click on find So we need to wait for a little bit until it finds the information. Okay, so now here we have some results. All of these are satellite images from different dates. We have here a preview window. So if we click on some of uh, on one of the one of the images, we're going to get a preview from the from the image. In this case, we have more information. We have the cloud cover cloud cover is important, the acquisition date and I am going to look for for an image that has not a lot of cloud cover for instance this one okay so this image is fine for me uh, the cloud cover is is minimum and uh, I think it covers very well the study area so I'll download this image. So we need to uh, we need to delete the other images. So the one that I selected was cloud cover. This one. So it's this one. I'm going to select the, the ones above it. Okay, now that they are selected, I am going to delete the rows. Yes. And now I am going to select the ones below the image. Okay, now I have them selected and I'm going to delete these rows as well. Yes.
OK, now we have the image that I want to download. Here we have the download options. In case of Sentinel-2, uh, it has all of these bands. You can select which bands you want to download. In this case, I am going to download all of them. So then, this is not necessary. Um, and we are going to click on preprocess images because we are downloading the image and then QGIS will preprocess these images and then it will load the bands in QGIS. This operation takes around one to two hours, so uh, I am not going to run it. But if you want to download Sentinel-2 images, this is the process that you have to follow. Then if you want to preprocess them, you preprocess them with this button. And then you only click on Run. After clicking on Run, it will take around uh, one to two hours to download the image and to preprocess the image as well. If you have already a Sentinel-2 image and you just want to preprocess, then you go to this option, which is preprocessing. Here in preprocessing, you will select Sentinel-2. Here in Sentinel-2, you're going to select the, the files where you have your, your Sentinel-2 images. In this case, I have, I have this, this, um, this folder, so I'll select the folder. And then it asks for the metadata file. So here I have all my bands. And then we need to introduce the metadata file. The metadata file, here it says MTDMSI. So it's this one. And you say open. And then you're, you're going to have a quantification value and solar irradiance. You can apply the atmospheric correction and then your, your image will be preprocessed. You only have to click on run and this this operation also takes about one maybe less than one hour but around 40 minutes and then you run and you will have your your purposes images so for this case i've already done the preprocessing and the downloading of the images and i'll just add them to qgis the images are a raster files so I'll go to this button, which is Add Raster Layer, and I'll look for them. So I downloaded them with the SCP plugin, and I have two folders. I have the first folder that is the one without the corrections or preprocessing, and I have the second folder, which is this, with all the preprocessed images. So I have band 1, band 2, band 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The, the type of the file is TIFF. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 open. Add. So here I have all the bands from my, my satellite image. These are images from the Sentinel-2 um, satellite. Okay. So now what we can do with these satellite images is that we can we can create um, a natural color image or a fake color image and we also can calculate the NDVI which is the normalized difference vegetation index. To do so we need to know more about the bands of Sentinel-2. The Sentinel-2 bands are this. 
So band 1 is coastal aerosol, band 2 is blue, band 3 is green, band 4 is red, uh, band 5, 6, 7, vegetation red edge, 8 near infrared, 8A, 9 water vapor, and 10, 11, 12, the short wave infrared. So this is very important because now we are going to we are going to create a a natural image and we are also going to calculate the NDVI. Okay, so to create a natural color image, we go to raster I don't have to here. Here in miscellaneous, we're going to create a build virtual raster. Here we're going to select only the um, to create a natural color image, we need the blue, green, and red band. The blue band is band 2, so we're going to select band 2, then band 3, and band 4. And we're going to say OK. And we'll say run in background. Okay, so now here we have a virtual raster, and we're just going to give an, we give it another style. Uh, we go to properties, and here we're going to change the bands. The red band will be band three, green band band two, and blue band band one. Okay, so now here we have a natural color image. If we go closer we can see natural colors in this image. So this is it for this tutorial. If you want to know more about QGIS for water management, check out the online courses of Hatari Labs. Thank you and cheers.